new subscribers watching us from the diaspora and from different parts of the country. Thank you for subscribing to this channel, a wonderful channel that feeds your thought with a lot of positive words. I wanted to feel so contented and pick this kind of a message to you and pick it and put it into your mind, put it into your mind and put into action everything that we are going to talk here today. The topic today is that are you living your dreams or are you living your fears? We've lived a life and that I've seen most people living a life and a lot of tragedy and a lot of fear and a lot of shame and a lot of shake. Today I want, you, I want you to know that the life that you're living is a life that you have to use it so carefully. Have you ever been in a situation or scenario where life knocks you so down often? Where life seems to be so challenging? And what do you do about life? When life gets you down like that, what do you do about it? What do you got to do about that kind of a life that gets you down sometime? Do you stay comfort with it? Do you say you've given up on yourself? Do you say you've given in in yourself? Do you say you've stopped trying anymore? I want you to know that life is never going to be easy. Life is never going to be easy on your side, not even at any one point. It's never going to be any easy for you. But this is one thing that I need you to realize. Every time life throws down on you, pick it up and go on. Pick it up and stand up and stand tall on yourself and keep on moving. Pick it up and stand up on yourself and get on going. There was a man someday as I was moving around, I found him. He had a research to make around East Africa. And the research that he had to make about East Africa is that he wanted to go out and find out a tribe that was so hostile in East Africa. This tribe was so much hostile about the new intruders that gets into their country. And then this man thought about two things. He thought about going to that place and wondered if he could still have his life on. One thing he thought about was that this man and man eaters. One thing they could do to him was to chop his head off and he was to be ampere or perhaps without head. And then he thought about it. What's my, what's my purpose on living on planet Earth? If this is my purpose to live on planet Earth and to go and get video and to get this out, then I have to go to this place and get this video and get this report back to people. This man traveled out there and the first day he began to make out his report and make out his pile. You know what happened? He interviewed the first person. <laughs> and there was some kind of relationship they are building up. He interviewed the second person and they are trying to build up some kind of a bond with him. And then when he interviewed the third person, he got to realize that these people that they have been talking about, they are not actually the wrong people. They are not actually the other people that I really thought about that they are man eaters. But these are friendly people. These are people who just need to talk with. These are people who just need association with. These are people who are there for us. You understand? This man kept on searching. Kept on calling out and saying, Oh my God. If I did it the first day, the first, two, the first two days, the first two weeks, and then I am safe, my head is still on, then I'm going to stand stall. I'm going to be on stadium myself and I'm going to make much, much, much more reports. When he returned back home in London, what happened? When he turned back home in London, they asked him, Hey man, you're coming back with your whole body, your whole part, your whole of you alive and full and intact. Oh my God, those guys are man eaters. We hoped you would be dead now. You would be nothing now, but how did you make it? And then he told them one thing that if there is nothing that life no longer threatens you about and leaving it, know that your life has got no purpose. Your life has got no meaning. Your life has got nothing. And then I feel, what does it mean? It means that sometimes life has to throw dirt on us. Has to throw hard things on us in order to get up. In order to get them moving. So I'm asking you one more time, are you living your dreams or you're living your fear? It's going to be scaring sometimes. It's going to be hard sometimes. It's going to be so hard sometimes to move on. To get on is hard sometimes. But what have you got to do? Open up. Fill up yourself sometimes. Get some ample time and meditate upon your life. Meditate upon the hard times, the hardships you've moved through. How long, how far you've made it and what about today? How far you moved that life of yours? And what is it today that's trying to put you down? Many of the people that are going through the battles of life thinking that life is just a game. Life is not a game anymore. It is just a worked on thing, getting engaged into this thing called life. It needs you to engage in. Give it all that you got to give it out. 
Do it with it, go out so spooky about it, and go so strong about it, and then life will give you the base that you want about it. It's so hard. It's just love is a just employer. It gives you what you can bear. If you and if you cannot bear it, it gives you to another person to play your part about it. Get up on love, live your dream, not your fears. Live it on, live it on, and live your dream. Love is too hard. And every time you get a fall on the ground, get up. Ground is not going to apologize for you falling on it. Ground is not going to apologize for you falling on it. Get up on that ground and begin moving. It's too hard. Get up on it and begin moving. Try it again and again and again. Anything that's worth doing it right, do it wrong. Do it wrong. Do it wrong until you learn how to do it so good. Do it so wrong and then until that day you learn to do it so perfectly. And then when you learn to do it so good, do it so perfectly and so nicely and then life will give you the best. Get up on yourself, get up on yourself, work out your dream. Nobody's gonna pull you out, but all apart from you, give yourself a hand and only you and you can give yourself the best life you want. Let's take out a moment. Let's look at a moment that you are at a dead point and all you've had is that you've never lived your dreams never lived everything that God gave you never lived out of everything that God blessed you ordained you with on the planet Earth and then you're in a coma and life is hard on you then and then everybody else your family members comes to pray with you together during that time of death your last prayer with them and then your dreams keeping on coming back to you and knocking on to you and saying that you are the only person who could give us life you are the only person who could make us thrive on you are the only person who could who could bat us on so what happened why wouldn't you give us life on and here now we are dying with you and here now we want to die with you because you failed to give us life it was only you and only you who could give us life so brothers out there old man out there a mother out there get up on yourself leave it one more time and play it your path play it your path it's been a good it's been a good time my name is Ward Emmanuel mentor inspirational speaker and a counselor bye bye the subscribers